Now we are looking at this autonomous differential equation and in this differential equation you can notice that dy dt becomes zero when y is one or y is three or y is zero. So what do we call these for these autonomous equation? We call these critical points. Now what we are going to do is we want to see or determine, you know, which critical points are asymptotic asymptotically stable and which are asymptotically unstable. So let's look at the regions that are obtained by these critical points. So for example, if this zero is the lowest, I should have written that first. So if we are in the negative territory, what happens? This quantity is negative, uh, this is positive no matter what, or, uh, or I mean non-negative, and this quantity is negative. So negative times positive times negative is positive, right? When we go between zero and one, let's take say 0.5. Here we have negative, positive, and uh, then what we have? So we are between zero and one, and uh, this factor will be negative for that territory. This is positive, and between 0 and 1, all the numbers are positive. So this is positive. So negative, positive, positive. The 3 will multiply to negative. Now, when we go between 1 and 3, let's take, say, for instance, y equals 2. So we get a positive, then a positive, and then a positive again. So what do we get? We get a positive value. And once we get past 3, all the factors are positive, so we have positive, all right? Now, since the derivative is positive here, y will be increasing. Here, the derivative is negative, so it's decreasing. And then again, it is positive, so the function will be increasing again, and it will be doing the same thing in this region. So let's go ahead and see how the solutions behave, okay? So here what we got is that between uh, negative infinity and zero, like y as, uh, you know, y between negative infinity and zero, the function is an increasing function. And all that I'm doing is I'm only respecting these portions. I'm not going numerically that accurately. We will have a computer plotted soon, all right? Now, between 0, y values between 0 and 1, what it's doing is it's going, it's a decreasing function, right? And what's happening here at the value y equals 0, that as t goes to infinity, it's converging to the value y0, y equals 0. So we call it asymptotically stable. Okay, or you may call it an attractor. Then what happens between one and three, it's going to be increasing and it does the same behavior past three. Again, these are simply showing the increasing and decreasing behaviors, all right? And these are the constant solutions because the derivative is zero at y equals three, y equals one and y equals zero. So let's see what happens here. We have the solution as t goes to infinity, it diverges, or it just goes away from y equals one. So we will call it asymptotically unstable. And this one, what we have decided to call in this situation, from one side it approaches y equals three, on the other side it just goes away, all right? Uh, and so here we call it, it is asymptotically semi-stable, all right? So that's how we designate these points. And just for curiosity, let's see that how a computer program will graph it. So now we will be using MATLAB later, but right now, just for ease, let's go to Bluffton University to Dr. Nestor's website. And we had been using it. So... Uh, what we will do is that uh, we shall go ahead and type in our expression here for dy dt 
okay and then it's going to show us several solutions you can see just plot on it and uh, sorry just click on it and it will create a solution for you so here you can see the solutions are converging to, you know, in the case of y equals zero, they are going away from y equals one. And at y equals three on one side, they approach y equals three on the other side, they just go away. And that's how we designated them as asymptotically stable, uh, unstable and semi-stable, all right? 